there, I am so happy to have you here with us today. I'm Emily and I'm going to be demonstrating the advanced version of each of these exercises using either my own body weight or a set of dumbbells. And I'd like to introduce you to super success story Cheryl over here. Cheryl's going to be demonstrating the modified version of each of these exercises using either her own body weight or a set of resistance bands. So, if you'd like a bit more of a challenge, then go ahead and follow along with the moves as I'll demonstrate. Or if you'd like to back off and do an easier version, then please go ahead and follow Cheryl. Most importantly, listen to your body's cues for when it's time to take a break or when you can push it a little bit more. Remember, your body is your number one teacher. And be sure to pay attention to your form so you make sure you're doing each of these exercises in the safest and most effective way for you. All right, I'm so happy to have you joining us here today. Let's get started with our first exercise. In this next ab training exercise, we're going to do a move called the Pilates double leg lower lift. So come onto your back and make a triangle shape with your hands. Bring this triangle way down low, right below your tailbone. So the tailbone tucks under and the low back rounds down toward the mat. For level one, follow Cheryl with the knees bent, inhaling to bring the knees away from the chest just slightly, exhaling to draw them in. For level two, go ahead and follow me by extending your legs all the way up to the sky. Inhale to lower your legs just about a foot or two, exhale to bring them right back up toward the ceiling. Inhale to lower down, exhale to lift them back up. Now make sure the belly is contracting down, pressing into the low back to help keep it nice and supported and stable as you do this. If at any point you feel any strain in your back or the back starts to arch off of the mat, go ahead and drop down to the modified version. Hug that belly in as tight as you can. Let's go for five more. Four, three more, last two, and one. Great job. Hug those knees in and take a quick break. All right, it's cardio time. We're going to do some jump squats. To modify, follow along with Cheryl and come down into a squat position and lift back up. To kick up the intensity, follow me. We're gonna squat down and jump up. Good, squatting down as low as we can and really bursting up into that jump. Great, getting a great plyometric movement as we do this. Wonderful, keep breathing. Try to land gracefully on the toes. Give your knees a little bit of shock absorption as you come down. Pull the belly in and up. Wonderful, the shoulders are down. Woo, keep going. Keep that chest lifted, try not to bend forward. Feel free to modify at any time. We just have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing job. In this exercise, we're going to do a Pilates swimming variation to work the back muscles. Follow along with Cheryl for the modified version, moving one arm back at a time, lifting her chest slightly, but keeping her front hand planted on the mat for support. For the advanced version, follow along with me. One hand comes back. We reach the left arm forward and the right leg back behind us. We inhale to swim around through center and switch sides, right arm and left leg lift. So we're lifting the opposite arm and the opposite leg as we go trying to keep the chest lifted the whole time. Feeling both sides of our back working here in a nice balanced way and keeping the gaze straight down at the mat with the chin tucked. As you do these exercises, reach long through the fingers, get some length in the body. <sighs> Wonderful, keep going two more on each side. <sighs> Last ones. <sighs> Release your cheek onto the mat. Let your shoulders round forward. All right, let's hit some cardio with some mountain climbers. Cheryl's going to show you the modified version in a tabletop pose, crunching one knee in and then the next, moving as quickly as you'd like. The next modified version, you're going to step the feet back into a plank and step one foot forward and back and then the next. If you want to do the full out advanced version, you're going to take a little jog on your mat, jogging the feet forward and back keeping your gaze forward right between your hands. We're gonna go for a full minute of these. So take deep breaths. Let's jog it out, maybe moving a little bit faster. Nice, keep going. You've got this. 
Feel free to drop down to the modification at any time. Let's move for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job. Let's work the inner thighs with some frog leg kicks. To modify, come down onto your back like Cheryl. She's going to inhale to bend the knees, opening them out like frog legs, and exhale to point the toes straight up toward the ceiling, squeezing the inner thighs. For the advanced version, come onto your elbows. Lift the chest, make sure the spine is nice and long. Inhale to open the knees apart. Exhale to point the toes and reach the legs out at a 45 degree angle. We inhale to squeeze the knees back. Exhale to reach long. Pull the belly in tight the whole time. Keep the chest lifted and make sure there's no roundness in your back. Now you'll really feel this in the inner thighs if you squeeze those legs together as you extend them out. Beautiful, use your exhale to reach. Your inhale draws you back. Let's do four more. Three. Two more. And last one. Wonderful, lower those legs down. Yeah, yeah, it's time for some more cardio. We're gonna do some jogging planks. To modify, come into a tabletop position and follow along with Cheryl, bringing one knee into the chest and then the next. For the second level, follow along with me. We're exhaling to draw one knee forward, step it back in a full plank position, no knees on the mat. So this is our mid-level, level two. If you wanna come all the way up to the advanced version, we're just gonna jog those legs. Now notice these are a little different from mountain climbers because my front feet are not touching the mat at all. They're just jogging in toward the chest and stepping back. Make sure your core is in nice and tight and we're breathing. Yes, feel that heart rate coming up. Feels good to be moving, feels good to be alive. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, finish strong, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, we made it. Now let's work the triceps. If you're working with a resistance band, bring the resistance band behind your back foot. Lunge forward with your front foot. Hug the elbows in tight. You're gonna to exhale to extend the arms forward. Inhale to bend the elbows and reach them back. Squeeze the biceps in right by the ears like you're giving yourself a set of earmuffs. If you're doing this with a dumbbell, you're gonna bring the dumbbell right behind your head. You're leaning the chest forward. We're exhaling to press forward and inhaling to bend at the elbows. Keeping those upper arms squeezing in tight right by the ears. Now if you'd like to make this a little harder, you can always hold on to two dumbbells with your hands rather than just one. Good. Draw the belly in. Make sure you're not arching in the low back too much. We've got five more. Four. Lower down with control. Three. Two more. Last one. And bring your dumbbell around the side of your head and lower it all the way down. Yeah, yeah, it's cardio time again. Let's do some jumping jacks. Follow along with Cheryl. She's gonna do a side-to-side -side step and keep her hands low. For full jumping jacks, we're opening the legs, raising the arms, and then closing them, jumping up and together. Nice. Try to land gracefully on your toes to help your knees out. Wonderful. To make this a little harder, you can always speed it up. If you need to back off a little bit, just slow them on down. Wonderful, nice deep breaths. You've got this, amazing job. Keep going, doesn't it feel good to move today? All right, getting that heart rate up. Keep it going. All right, now just 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, don't stop on me now, three, two and one amazing good for you let's work our biceps with a set of platter raise pulses so lean forward into your front foot we're going to reach the arms forward with the elbows straight hold them there and now pulse the palms up toward the ceiling wonderful contract the core to protect the spine keep a slight tuck in your chin and we're pulsing deep breaths let's keep going for ten nine eight, seven, six, shoulders down if you can, four, three, two, and one, lower down. Awesome job. 
Guess what? It's time for some cardio. Let's start with some jogging in place. To modify, you're just going to keep this more to walk and take the bounce out of it. To move it up a notch, let's kick those knees up. Nice. Get those arms pumping. Wonderful. Moving as fast as you comfortably can. Keep your core contracted to stabilize your hips and your spine. Wonderful. A little tuck in your chin so the back of neck is long. Let's jog it out. Wonderful. Taking a nice long run toward your better health, toward your healthier body, toward more energy. And I don't know about you, but I'm jogging toward a better night's sleep tonight, that's for sure. I'm going to sleep good after all of this cardio. All right, let's keep going. Maybe moving a little bit faster. We've just got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one take a rest you earned it now we're going to work the shoulders with a set of side squat arm extensions so bring the feet really wide bend into your left knee bring your right hand to your left knee and exhale lean into the other knee and open it back good inhale hand to knee exhale open back as that arm opens back make sure the palm is facing forward also, be sure that that arm is nice and straight. All of this motion is coming from the shoulder blade, not from the elbow. Three more on this side. Two. Last one. And we'll switch sides. So you'll switch feet in the band. Step your other foot out to the side. Beautiful. Grab onto the band with your left hand. Lunge into your right knee. And we exhale to lunge over to the left. Inhale to the right. Good, again, drawing the shoulder blade back on the back, really lunging from side to side, keeping that elbow as straight as possible. Make sure you're not rounding in the spine. Wonderful, just three more. Two. And one. Fantastic. Let's hit some more cardio. We're gonna do some crisscross jumping jacks. The modified version, you're doing a step apart and across the feet, one in front of the other. To take it up to the full version, we're gonna add our hop and cross the ankles and the arms. So we're hopping the feet apart and we're crossing right and then left, crossing the wrists as well. This is a great exercise, not just for the body, but also for the brain. Anytime we cross the midline of the body, it's wonderful for your brain. Let's keep going. Feel free to speed it up if you'd like a bit more intensity. Breathe, really push your body, feel those extensions, feel that breath. Nice, keep going. Just 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, you're amazing. Three, two, and one, yeah, you did it. Come all the way down onto your back. We're going to work the chest now with a set of reclining chest press. To modify the version, you're going to use a resistance band like Cheryl. Bring the band right behind your shoulders. As you exhale, you're going to press the palms up toward the ceiling and inhale to lower down. Exhaling to press, inhaling to lower. For the advanced version, you'll use a set of dumbbells. Make sure your knuckles are heading straight up toward the ceiling and your wrists are nice and straight. We don't want to bend or break at the wrists. Wonderful. We're inhaling to lower the elbows down, exhaling to press up and squeeze in the chest muscles. Make sure your chin is tucked and the back of your neck is pressing down into the mat. Let's do five more. Five, four, three more. Squeeze that chest. Two, and last one. Great work. All right, let's do a minute of cardio with our marching toe taps. Cheryl is actually going to be doing the advanced version today by tapping her toes right above her knees and moving as quickly as she can. I'm doing the modified version today so that it's easier for me to talk to you because I have great news to tell you. If you are joining us for the 15 minute workout, you are just about done. This is your last exercise for today. Congratulations. In only 15 minutes, you've been able to train all seven of your major muscle groups. Plus, you got some great cardio interval training in there for super effective fat burning. Once you finish up this workout, be sure to take the time for a quick cool down. Either walking in place or walking around your house can be a great way to do this. 
Be sure after that to take the time to stretch your major muscle groups. You can click on the link below for the stretching video and just follow along. Stretching is not only a great way to prevent muscle soreness, it has also been proven to help increase your strength gains. It's been so great having you here with me today and I can't wait to see you on the next exercise. Now for those of you continuing on to the 22 minute or the 30 minute workout, keep up the great work. Let's move on to our next strength training workout. Now we're going to work our ab muscles with an exercise called the Pilates Crisscross. For the modified version, please follow Cheryl over here, keeping both of your feet on the mat with your knees bent, crunching from side to side. For the advanced version, go ahead and follow along with me by hugging your knees into the chest. Lift your chest and shoulders, press your belly down. The hands come behind the head. We inhale to twist to the right as our left leg reaches long, and we exhale to the left. It's an inhale to the right and exhale to the left keeping your belly contracting down the whole time. As you twist, try to look back behind you, which will help pull you a little deeper into this twist. Watch your legs. If the legs are extended, try to reach long through your toes, lowering the legs only about to a 45 degree angle, so we're really hitting the abs and not straining the back. Let's go for about five more sets, right and left. Three more. Two. After this last one, go ahead and release it down. You can hug your knees into the chest. Feel free to roll your head from side to side. All right, let's hit some cardio with some mountain climbers. Cheryl's going to show you the modified version in a tabletop pose, crunching one knee in and then the next, moving as quickly as you'd like. The next modified version, you're going to step the feet back into a plank and step one foot forward and back and then the next. If you want to do the full out advanced version, you're going to take a little jog on your mat, jogging the feet forward and back, keeping your gaze forward right between your hands. We're going to go for a full minute of these. So take deep breaths. Let's jog it out, maybe moving a little bit faster. Nice, keep going. You've got this. Feel free to drop down to the modification at any time. Let's move for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job. Now we're going to work our back muscles with a Pilates exercise called swimming. For the modified version, follow Cheryl. You'll lift your right arm and your left leg and lower down, and then switch sides, moving opposite arm, opposite leg. For the advanced version, you're going to tuck your chin, bring your gaze down at the mat, lift your arms and legs, and then flutter the arms and legs like you're swimming across a really shallow pond. Beautiful. Reaching the fingers long, reaching the toes back behind you. Make sure you don't feel any strain in your back. If you do, drop it down to the modified version. Good, let's keep going, lifting a little bit higher. Perhaps swimming a little bit faster for just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Release your chest down onto the mat, turn your cheek, and relax your shoulders. All right, it's cardio time. We're going to do some jump squats. To modify, follow along with Cheryl and come down into a squat position and lift back up. To kick up the intensity, follow me. We're going to squat down and jump up. Good, squatting down as low as we can and really bursting up into that jump. Great, getting a great plyometric movement as we do this. Wonderful, keep breathing. Try to land gracefully on the toes. Give your knees a little bit of shock absorption as you come down. Pull the belly in and up. Wonderful, the shoulders are down. <sighs> Woo, keep going. Keep that chest lifted, try not to bend forward. <sighs> Feel free to modify at any time. We just have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing job. Now let's work the legs and the glutes with a set of Pilates fire hydrant leg lifts. Come down onto your side and bend your knees so they're heading straight out in front of your hips. Bring your heels out in line with your knees as well. Press your top hip forward. Follow Cheryl for the modified version, keeping the knee bent as you lift and lowering down. 
If you'd like to kick it up a notch to the advanced version, stretch your top leg out in front of you, turn the heel up toward the ceiling and lift and lower. Beautiful. We're pressing that knee or foot forward the whole time. Make sure this top hip is not rocking back. You want the hip pressing forward into the thigh. Let's do six more. Five. Four. Squeeze the belly in tight. Don't forget about your core. Three. Two. And one. Good. Bend the knee. Let's come over onto the other side just to make sure we're not walking around totally lopsided. Bring your head into your hand, bend your knees out in front of you. Level one, you keep the knee bent and we open and close that leg. Level two, straighten your top leg out, turn your toes down. Exhale, lift the heel up. Inhale, lower. Use your breath. We inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth as you lift that leg. Let's just do six more. Five, four, press that top hip forward. Three, two, and one, good, bend that knee and lower down. Okay, let's do a minute of cardio now with some side to side squats. Please follow Cheryl over here for the advanced version of this exercise. Squatting as deeply as you can, moving as quickly as you can, and perhaps including a side leg lift. I'm going to be doing the modified version by keeping my squats a little more shallow. For those of you who are here for the 22 minute workout today, congratulations, you are just about done. For making it through to the 22 minute mark, you have now trained all seven of your major muscle groups once, plus you've hit three more of your largest muscle groups a second time around. Not to mention you've gotten some awesome cardio training in between for great and effective fat loss. What you do next is super important. So be sure to take the time to do some light cardio as a cool down so your heart rate can gradually decrease. Follow that by stretching all of your major muscle groups. Just click on the link below and follow along with the stretching moves. Most importantly, take a minute to thank yourself and your body for showing up to do something great for yourself today. You deserve it. It's been awesome having you here with us and I can't wait to see you on the next workout. For those of you continuing on to the full 30 minute workout, keep up the great work. You are so close. We only have four more resistance training exercises to go with a minute of cardio in between. I'll see you on the next one. Now let's work our triceps with a set of tricep tabletop push-ups. Follow Cheryl for the modified version, staying on the hands and knees. You're going to inhale to bend the elbows slightly and exhale to lift. For the more advanced version, you come into a tabletop position, reach one leg back behind you. You inhale to lean forward, bringing your chin toward the floor, and exhale to lift back up. It's an inhale to lean forward and exhale back up. Notice how I'm bringing my chin and my chest forward in front of my fingertips, not down between my hands. Keep that back leg engaged. Keep your core pulling in tight. If you have the leg extended, we'll just do two more like this. And we'll switch sides, extend the other leg back. We'll inhale to lean forward and exhale to lift. Pull the belly in. Keep the spine nice and long. Good, it's okay to make these a little more shallow now that our muscles are starting to fatigue. Let's just do three more. Two. And one. Great job. Yeah, yeah, it's time for some more cardio. We're gonna do some jogging planks. To modify, come into a tabletop position and follow along with Cheryl, bringing one knee into the chest and then the next. For the second level, follow along with me. We're exhaling to draw one knee forward, step it back in a full plank position, no knees on the mat. So this is our mid-level, level two. If you wanna come all the way up to the advanced version, we're just gonna jog those legs. Now notice these are a little different from mountain climbers because my front feet are not touching the mat at all. They're just jogging in toward the chest and stepping back. Make sure your core is in nice and tight and we're breathing. Yes, feel that heart rate coming up. Feels good to be moving, feels good to be alive. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, finish strong, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, we made it. Now let's hit the biceps with some bicep curls. We're gonna exhale to curl in and inhale to lower down. Now for the modified version, you can always use resistance bands like Cheryl has. For the advanced version, you can use a set of dumbbells, as light or as heavy as you need. 
do a slight bend in the knees here so we're not locking in the knees and we're just squeezing and lowering. Now try to keep the shoulders back and down. Try to keep the elbows back by the back of your ribs. Let's keep going for five more. Four, lower down with control. Nice, three. You really feel it if you lower down nice and slow. Two more. And last one. Let's hit some more cardio. We're going to do some crisscross jumping jacks. The modified version, you're doing a step apart and across the feet, one in front of the other. To take it up to the full version, we're going to add our hop and cross the ankles and the arms. So we're hopping the feet apart and we're crossing right and then left, crossing the wrists as well. This is a great exercise, not just for the body, but also for the brain. Anytime we cross the midline of the body, it's wonderful for your brain. Let's keep going. Feel free to speed it up if you'd like a bit more intensity. <sighs> Breathe. <sighs> really push your body. Feel those extensions. Feel that breath. Nice, keep going. Just 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, you're amazing. Three, two, and one. Yeah, you did it. In this next exercise, we're going to work our shoulders with a set of lateral raises. So bring a little bend into your knees. Turn your palms in. We're going to exhale to lift the arms and inhale to lower. Pull the belly in nice and tight. Keep the body nice and stable. We're lowering all the way down and lifting all the way up. Wonderful. To modify this, if you have a resistance band, you can add a little more slack on the band. To make this a little harder, you can always use a set of heavier weights. Now, even though we're lifting the arms, try to press the shoulders down away from the ears and keep your abs engaged nice and tight. Just four more. Three. Two. And last one. Lower down. Guess what? It's time for some cardio. Let's start with some jogging in place. To modify, you're just going to keep this more to walk and take the bounce out of it. To move it up a notch, let's kick those knees up. Nice. Get those arms pumping. Wonderful. Moving as fast as you comfortably can. Keep your core contracted to stabilize your hips and your spine. Wonderful. A little tuck in your chin so the back of neck is long. Let's jog it out. Wonderful. Taking a nice long run toward your better health, toward your healthier body, toward more energy. And I don't know about you, but I'm jogging toward a better night's sleep tonight, that's for sure. I'm going to sleep good after all of this cardio. All right, let's keep going. Maybe moving a little bit faster. We've just got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one take a rest you earned it now let's work the chest muscles with a set of wide-handed push-ups go ahead and bring your hands a little wider than shoulder width apart we're going to inhale to lower the chest down and exhale to lift up to modify follow cheryl and make it a slighter bend in the elbows to make it more advanced, you can curl your toes under and lift your knees off the mat, but I'm not going to demonstrate that because, frankly, I can't do them that way. <laughs> so I stay down on my knees, too. Let's just go for five more, coming down as low as you can. Four. Three. Press into those palms. Two. Oh, last one. Wow, here we are at our last minute of cardio. For this last minute, pick whichever cardio exercise suits you best. Either jogging high knees like Cheryl's going to do, or perhaps some jumping jacks. You can also lightly jog in place. Congratulations, you made it all the way through till the end, and you should be very proud. Because you made it through the full 30 minutes, you have now worked all seven of your major muscle groups twice. Plus, you got fat-burning cardio intervals in between each and every one of those exercises. Not to mention, you added new exercises to make sure your body keeps progressing forward and never plateaus. All right, we only have a few seconds left, so let's keep going strong. As soon as we sign off, be sure to follow this with three minutes of lighter cardio, followed by some stretching. Okay, just about 15 seconds left to go. You've almost made it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You've got this. 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Yes, you made it. Awesome job. I hope you have a wonderful day knowing that you took the time to do something awesome for yourself and your body. And I can't wait to see you back here on the next workout.